Uh, Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Oh, I can see you are uh, not really bad Muslims. <laughs> you are good Muslims. Now, I, I pray that at the, at the end of this session, I make you even better Muslims. Now, let me start with the greeting. The greeting I have just uh, greeted you with, uh, Assalam alaikum, simply means peace be unto you. And the reply, you reverse it. Alaikum salam. And the reply, you reverse it, Alaikum salam. But that is for, that, that's the barest minimum we can give. If you had been really good Muslims, you should have added Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Isn't that a good greeting? Because Alaikum salam is peace be unto you wa rahmatullahi and Allah's mercies and blessings be unto you. Isn't that a good greeting? Yes. Yes, so today, uh, the talk we are going to have it is going to be interactive. Sitaki, I don't want Muta Kipira Kabarabara to say that Kuna Muta Mekuja Apandani, Natumbo Kubwa, Namiwani, and is really lecturing on the people. No, I would like us to be interactive to discuss. This will be a discussion because when you eventually meet with the Muslims, it will be an interaction. <coughs> it, will be, it will be interaction, not just you. <coughs> lecturing to the Muslims. Now, as uh, before even I start, I would like to assume that all of you are Christians. Right? Yes. So, and uh, since there are no Muslims here, I will be the Muslim. Is that okay? Yes. And since we if I say something that is not right, according to Christianity, you can correct me. Okay? And if you say something that is not right for Islam, Namimita, I'll correct you. Is that okay? Yes. Question number one. Who told you that Muslims must become Christians? <laughs> <laughs> and I will give you options. Because as Christians, only three people must have told you. You must have known this from three sources. Source number one, either God told you. Number two, or the Bible told you. And number three, your pastor told you. So among those three, who told you that Muslims must become Christians? Who? Uh, Jesus told me. Oh, Jesus told you yes. that Muslims must become Christians. And I can explain. Uh, no, you'll explain later. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? And you? Bible. The Bible told you that Muslims must become Christians. Yes, sir. None of the above. Oh, none of the above. Nobody told you. <laughs> I like that one. Nobody told you that Muslims should become Christians. But you decide they should become Christians. Anyway, even if they are to become Christians, why should they become Christians? Did you hear my question? Yes. Why should Muslims become Christians? Yes? Yeah, according to the Great Commission, we are told to go to all nations and make disciples and they are included. Okay. <laughs> Another question, yes? I think we all need to go to heaven and Jesus Christ is the way to heaven. Oh, there's no other way to heaven? Yes. So I mean, you agree with him. He says that Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven. Yes. If you don't have Jesus, you don't go to heaven, isn't yes. it? Yes. yes. When did the people start going to heaven? <laughs> I think you can guess where I'm headed. Yes, yes. When did people start going to heaven? <laughs> During the times of Abraham, people are going to heaven, isn't it? Yes. Were they going with Jesus? No. no. So, to go to heaven, you don't need Jesus. You can still go there. Without Jesus, isn't no. it? No. 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 Acts 14. No. Okay. Yeah. But my initial question when did people start going to heaven? In Genesis. Oh, they started with Jesus. I've had an answer there. They started yes. with Jesus. Yes. So anybody who died before Jesus, no heaven for him. I think, no. uh, I think uh, we should. 
Uh, I know, uh, Jesus was there before even the creation of the world. Mm. So that's what we believe from the Bible. Oh, so yeah. uh, the past, uh, your name is? Fred. Fred is saying that Jesus was there even before the creation of the world. Yes. Mm. Uh, so therefore, he was taking people to heaven. Isn't it? Is he, <laughs> the, the gateway. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. I know. Mm. Yes. I'm asking. And yes. we'll, 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 we will interrogate all those statements from the Bible here. Yes. So if you are Christians, and you want to engage Muslims, today is your day. <laughs> yes. So, the question is, it's saying that Jesus, since Jesus used to be there before the creation of the world, maybe he's the one who was taking people to heaven, isn't it? Are you in agreement with him? So it looks like maybe Jesus does not take anybody to heaven. <laughs> yes, my friend? Yes. I can agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's set to to, to Kubaliani. Kwamba before Jesus came and died on the cross and rose again, there were some people who had gone to heaven without necessarily using Jesus. Isn't it? One of them is Elia. Mm -hmm. Enoch. 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 Musa. Musa. Musa did not. So, kuna wengi na lenda binguni, lakini wengi watapitia kwa Yesu. Isn't it? Abraham. And the Bible says none has ever been there except the one who came from. Oh, none has ever been there. Yes. Kwa Kristo, mashallah. Yes, Mr. Kabbalah. And this, he did my name. Kwa mbo wengi na lenda binguni, wengi na wajaenda. Yes. But do you follow the Bible? You follow the Bible? Yes. And does it tell you when people start going to heaven? Does Quran say? The Quran tells us. When? Quran nasema kabisa. Quran nasema katika surah tul araf. Surah ya saba. Aya mia. Aya nane na tisa. Now please write them down. In case you again amtu. You can confirm up with the Quran. You can proceed. Aya surah ya saba. Aya narudia narudia. Nenda deda kwa utratifu. Quran inasema katika sura ya saba sura ya saba ama chapter seven verse eight and nine in English inasema and the way on that day shall be the true way so as for those whose scale of good deeds will be heavy will be the successful ones and those whose scale of bad deeds will be weak will be those who will fail in other words Quran inasema hivi siku ya mwisho katika Islam hakuna muda ameenda binguni hata mmoja kwa mpaka sasa. Wametulia wapi? Eh? Wametulia wapi? Wamekufa huko Kabrini hata Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam yuko Kabrini. Eh? Wanangoja siku ya hukumu. Siku ya hukumu itakapofika eh matendo mema ya kila nagusa hapa kwa sababu katika Islam inaaminika kwamba kila Muislamu utembea na malaika wawili mmoja upande huu mwingine upande huu na huyu wa kulia anaandika matendo mazuri yote ambayo Muislamu anafanya na huyu wa kushoto anaandika matendo mabaya yote ambayo Muislamu anafanya siku ya kiyama siku ya hukumu haya matendo yatatolewa ni atawekwa kwenye mizani mizani ulhaq and mizani ya haki itawekwa kwenye mizani na depending on which side the scales will tilt kama hii ni mazito kwenda upande huu basi wote ikiwa mwenye kuingia jana si binguni waislamu hawaendi binguni waislamu wanaenda mahali panaitwa jana jana maana yake ni kama shamba shamba ambapo mtaishi utapata nyumba ate matunda mema mzuri kule eh kwenye ile shamba utakuwa na mto unapita mbele yako mbele ya nyumba yako mto wa uh, wine na joko kiswahili Eh, divai na unafanya kidogo kwa hiyo kama wewe mwanaume uko ndani ya nyumba utakuwa na wanawake kadhaa karibu sabini hivi 
This place yeah. where they go, yeah. it is for, for everybody. It's for? It's for everybody, whether you did good or bad. Everybody. It's not for everybody. It, it's, it's only for those who did good, whose uh, account of good deeds outweigh the bad ones. Kama matendu yako mema ya mezidi mabaya, tutenda kwenye jana. Ndiyo kwa sababu, najua huwa msikilizi mzuri, wakati adani inaitua kwenye msikiti. Haya sala, haya fala. Mara ya kwanza, anasema haya sala, haya kujeni kwa sala. Secondly, anasema haya fala. Fala means success kwa kiarabu. Kujeni kwa kufaulu. Kwa sababu, unapokuja kwenye msikiti, unaantikiwa nini? Matendo mema, 25 huku. Kwa kuja tu. So you can see, at the end of marathon, from skitty, year twenty-five, twenty-five, ah, twenty-five, So, twenty-five times five. You know what? Twenty-five. Akija, kama mesugua meno. Na siju kama mwana zama na tebe na kijiti. Yes, neto mswa. Sikiti <laughs> Kuna mwaki kwa nyumba. Kino isla mwingi wa na hiko kwa mfuko. Wama na hiko kwa mdoma kisugua. So, if ukienda kwa sala, na umesugua meno. Unaandikiwa 72 uh, points. <laughs> 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 kuna malaika, wana aminika, kuna malaika nika uh, kwebega na kushoto, kulia na kushoto. Ambawa naandika, matendo mema yote ambayo mwislamu anafanya. E, na, ayo matendo mema, Ndiyo yatafanya nini? Yatapimwa siku ya kiyama. Ndiyo, ndiyo mara nyingi. Ama wakati we, u, ukiangalia mwislama kiyomba. Najua wengine mjaona ya maneno ama muzingati sana. Wakati mwislama naomba. Ili kujua kwamba amemaliza maombi. Utaona na geuka. Sijini, sijini nana ya mwana. Ama kuna mtu alee kwa mwislama hapa kitambo. Sio shida. Eh, kama umemjua yesu ni naitakisawa. Utawana mta na, utawana mizama na geuka kushukulia na kushoto. Uwa geuki tu bure. Kimoe mwe anasema, asalamu alikum, asalamu alikum. Kwa sababu, inatakana ukue na halizuri na malaika. Ukue na halizuri na huyu. Asisawu kuandika kiu, ukifanya kitu kizuri. Na pia uwe na kakila halizuri na huyu. Mbapo mengine, analenga. Good intentions. Come on, look at the Nianzuri. Confano, let's go with my mapa. A laugh was ever, eh, no money, my foundation. Na ana hata maji ya kunya kwa kini. Nige kwa na maji nige mpatia. Lakini sina. Iyo, iyo wazo nzuri. Uyo anafani. Iyo niya nzuri. Uyo malaika anafani. Anakuwa nikia. Lakini pande hii. Ukiyo na niyambaya na, na ujafanya. Awa ndikibi. Sunana mungu ni uyo narema. Kwa hivyo labda. Labda. Inshallah. Nda wengiza pande hii. Ya, ya uislamu. On the left, on the left. Oh, question, please. Hey. In this case, mm. sin is not a problem. What? Doing wrong is not a problem. No. As long as you don't do much. Yes. You do little bit. For example, for Islam, dambi ni bati baya. Ni, ni kama accident. Ata kukusoma kitika Quran, sura ya saba. Mustabra shirin na nne. Nasema, Adam walipuambiwa musile lile tunda walisaau. Si kwamba walifanya tuko kumakusudi. Walisaau kidogo wakakula na badaya wakakundua lakumu tukifanya makosa. 
Munga Kasa. What if you are in the Senate, in the Senate, you are doing some good things? We are not here. Ati? Kukua Zambi, lakini katika Zambi, unafanya mema pia Zambi. Uh, well, that's a misnomer. That's a contradiction. No, let me. At uko kwenye dambi, na uko kwenye dambi na vanya mabamba mazuri. Yeah, let me say, like, uh, unasini, unasini inje andoa. Yeah. katika kusini nje ya ndoa unasaidia watoto wa ile boma unaopeleka shule <laughs> oh yeah yeah <laughs> unajua katika katika hii dini ya Uislamu eh hakuna kitu ambacho kinaenda bure kila kitu Allah subhana wa taala anakuandikia nini amali yake sasa wewe ukifanya dhambi fulani lakini pia ulipie mtoto fees Dhambi itaandikwa huko. <laughs> na fees itaandikwa wapi? <laughs> yes. Kwa hivyo baadaye itaangaliwa nini ilifanya mimi kuliko nyingine. <laughs> na itaamua kama utaokea kwenye jana ama kwenye jana. <clears throat> yes. Na unajata sijaza somo la leo. <laughs> yes. Ningependa kujua kwa sababu nasema malaika atasimama hii saa hii. Ah, sasa nasimama yuko tayari. Eh, wanapeleka hiyo report kwa jana. Na sasa anakaje hiyo kiti mali wanapeleka hiyo. Eh, watapeleka isike huko. Na watapeleka nani? Ah, okay, very good. Eh, siku ya kiyama. Watu wote ulimwenguni watafufuliwa. Watu wenye wamekufa watafufuliwa. Kisha watasimama kila mtu watasimama nyuma ya mtume wake sasa sisi waislamu tutasimama nyuma ya nani Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam na nyinyi wa Kristo eh Isa bin Maryam kila mtu anasimama peke yake oh wa Kristo kama ndio kaji yake sasa wakati hukumu ikaanza sisi mwenye atakuwa mbele yetu ni Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Kwanza matendo yake nitapimwa ya Muhammad. Ndio <laughs> <laughs> kwa sababu ukisikia ndio kwa sababu ukisikia Muislam anataja jina la Muhammad. Lazima aongeze sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Tunamwombea amani ya Mungu ya Allah. Kwa sababu we fikiria we mizamu umesema nyumba Muhammad nyuma Muhammad nataka kwanza kupimwa wenye wataingia mbinguni na wenye wataingia na wenye wanaanza na yeye ni Muhammad anapeana matendo yake huyu malaika anapeana matendo yake mazuri na mabaya ile kwa kwenye uzani sasa hebu fikiria wewe na huku nyuma na ngoja hapo simba alafu ya Muhammad inaanza kuenda pale <laughs> Wewe ukiwa okay, huko nyuma utaleta hapo. Eh labda kuuliza tu eh mlango ya jana mlipate gani? Acha tu niende mapema. Kwenye Qur'an na nashukuru nyo anaandika. Kwenye Qur'an sura ya 50 eh, 46 eh, 46 mstari wa tisa. Muhammad alipokuwa hai. Na haya maneno si mzichukue tu kwangu. I like to confirm to cross check muongee na Islam. Na si kwa njia mbaya kwa kwa upendo, kwa furaha. Ni mambo kwa Islam wanapenda sana kuongea mambo ya Mungu. Especially kwa kuniganisha Biblia na Qur'an. Wanapenda sana. So mambo kama hapo kuna muongee. Katika sura eh, eh, 46 mstari wa 9. <coughs> Waislamu walimuuliza Muhammad alipokuwa hai wakamwambia ya rasulullah yani we mtume wa Mungu hebu tuambie ni nini kitafanyika kwetu siku ya kiyama siku ya mwisho Muhammad akawajibu akawaambia wacha ni nyinyi hata mimi mwenyewe sijui nini, sijui nini itafanyika kwangu wala nyinyi mimi nafuata kile ambacho nimeambiwa sasa so, ni imagine wewe unafuata mtu ambaye anasema wakati tafika huko mbele ajui mimi mwenyewe sijui ya mambo yangu itakuwa namna gani ngaje ningependa niingie huko lakini sijui bila kuta, bila kutaenda na wewe mwenyewe unafuata unawakika utafaulu is, is a very good challenge wakati mnaongea na waislamu yes. please haya ndio mambo ndakana mna 
mnaongea mnauliza lakini si kwa kwa hasira ama kwa dharau hapana naongea nao kwa furaha eh waislamu wanapenda sana mkristo ambaye anajua neno la Mungu Biblia na ambaye anajua kidogo Quran eh Quran yes sura sura Oh, you got sura 469. Eh, sura 49. Are bana sita? Mstari wa 9. Na imeandikwa na nani? Eh? Imeandikwa na nani? Nani? Yo, sura. Kurani na kona kuna sura. hapa tuko. Najua leo hata leo wengaji wamesema ati tunafanya training. Training ijaanza. Tutafanya training baadaye. Saa hii tunafanya challenge of islam oh. challenge tu hmm. eh kwamba islam ni yeah. gani what kind of challenge they give us training tutafanya kimta muuza quran maandiko na na nani quran ni kitabu kimoja eh nilikuwa nataka kuja nani nikasahau quran ni kitabu kimoja kimegawanywa kwa sura 114 quran haijaandikwa na muhammed kwa sababu Muhammad hakujua kuandika wala kusoma. Na hii si iko kwenye Quran msta, e, sura ya saba, mstari wa moja, hamsini na saba. I'm saying the Quran was not written by Muhammad. Muhammad could not have written the Quran because he did not know how to read or write. And that is not me saying it is evidenced in the Quran in surah number 7 verse 157 157 yeah so then the Quran was not even written during the lifetime of Muhammad it andikwa baada ya Muhammad kufa now when we do the training these are some of the things we will be learning Sahi bado alianza training yake just look at the challenge of islam na nione mmuko kiwango gani ndio nijue nikiweka training nitaset kwa training ya kiwango gani in fact when we start the training tutaanza na mtihani kitia kwanza siku ya training kianza itakuwa mtihani alafu nitaendelea so the challenge of islam na jamu huko nijibu swali yule aliwaambia ni nani aliwaambia kwamba waislamu waokoke lakini bado mtanijibu now <coughs> Katika Biblia hakuna waislamu wametajwa kule. Lakini ukisoma Biblia kuna watu ambao wanafanana walifanana kama waislamu. Hao watu ni wakati nimesoma Biblia nimewakuta katika kitabu cha Matendo yes. 17 mstari wa 23 hadi oh, this wrong. Si nini? 22 to 23 after the makosa okay ni acts chapter 17 okay unaweza kusoma kwa kuenda pale kwa acts chapter 17 verse 22 23 and the, the bible says this Paul then stood up in the meeting of the Areopagus and said men of Athens i see that in every way you are very religious For as I walked around and looked carefully at your objects of worship I even found an altar with with this inscription to an unknown god now what you worship as something unknown I'm going to proclaim to you now you know the background saki mepana mahubiri tayari saki mahubiri tena lakini the background ya hii text ni kwamba inasemekana kuna wakati katika mji wa Ephesus ulikuwa na magonjwa inatokea in, in, in inaangamiza watu sana watu wa Athens walikuwa na miungu zao wamechonga miungu wameweka kila mungu na jina mungu wa wendo mungu akikacha mungu wa kila kitu sasa wakaomba kwa miungu hawa wanaomba kwa huyu hiyo ugonjwa ishi wanajaribu kuomba mungu mwingine huyu hiyo magonjwa ishi wakaomba kwa miungu wote baada ya magonjwa yako sasa wakasema labda labda kuna Mungu ambaye atumjui na na huyo anaanza kusaidia waka wakatengeneza sanamu wakasema hii sanamu ni to an unknown god ule Mungu ambaye atujui labda huyo anaweza kufanya nini kutusaidia so wakaomba kwa huyo Mungu mwenye alikuwa amjui wakasema huyo Mungu atukujui lakini kama ni wewe unaweza kutusaidia tafadhali tusaidie na maajabu ikafanyika huo ugonjwa ukaisha 
Sasa hiyo sanamu ikabaki hapo. Kasema hii sanamu ni yule Mungu ambaye atujui. Siku hizi nikiangalia jinsi waislamu wanaishi na wanafanya mambo yao kuna Mungu ambaye hawamjui. Kwa sababu anapoomba na tutakapoona kuna Mungu ambaye tungependa tuwafanulie, tuwaelezee kuna Mungu fulani ambao hawamjui. Na huyo ndio Mungu nataka tuelee tutazungumzia leo. Sasa jambo la kwanza wakati nasema waislamu what does it mean? What is Islam? Okay, nimeweka jibu pale. Lakini <coughs> labda wengine wenyewe hapa mna your students ama mtaenda mtakuwa wanafunzi uh, in Bible colleges ama mapopote. Anyway, utaulizwa what is Islam? Jibu lako lazima ni kuwe na maneno this word submission or surrender. Hata uelezo namna gani? Kama hayo maneno mawili hayako, you not get a ticket. And I teach, I teach in several universities. I teach in Bible colleges on the subject of Islam. And always when I give an exam, this question must be there. What is Islam? Because we cannot start talking of, about people that we don't know who they are. Now when you answer that question, you must include the word submission or surrender to the will of Allah, but as defined by the Quran. In other words, kunyenyekea kwa Kiswahili nasema kunyenyekea kwa ala kama ambavyo Quran imesema si kama ambavyo Biblia imesema si kama vile wewe unafikiria ni kunyenyekea kwa mbele ya ala kwa mujibu wa Quran Sasa nataka tuangalie changamoto ya Uislamu Uislamu inaleta changamoto gani kwa kwa Ukristo Na nilianza kwa kusema kwamba sisi wote hapa ni nyinyi wote hapa ni Wakristo Sawa sawa. Kwa hivyo ila ile mambo tunaingia saa hii ni kati ya Kristo na Waislamu. Mimi nitatetea Waislamu. Ni kwa vile mko wengi na nyinyi mtatetea Kristo. Na tutakubaliana kama ukweli utaonekana upande yenu. Mimi nitavuka nikuje upande hiyo. Hata nibatizwe. Lakini kama ukweli utaonekana pande hii na nyinyi mtafanya namna gani? <laughs> eh? Kama ukweli unaonekana kweli huko pande hii yangu hii. Na nyinyi mtafanya pale mtafanya namna gani? Mtafanya. Kristo mtashangaza. Eh? Yes. Eh, ndio kana mkuja pale. Okay, okay, tuta 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 tuta. Sasa Islam gives a three part challenge to Christianity. Challenge number one is theological. Mambo yote ambayo Kristo inafunza ama Biblia inafunza Uislamu inapinga. Everything the Bible teaches. Na sitaki kusita zungumzia kila kitu hata sita zungumzia mambo ya kutoa viatu kenda kwa msikiti ama uangalie pande gani ukiomba. I will deal with the basic doctrines ambazo you cannot be a christian if you don't believe in all of them the way the bible teaches or you cannot also be a muslim if you compromise on just one of them <laughs> then the other uh, challenge is missiological islam is also a missionary religion wanaita dawa wanataka kila mtu afanye nini akuje kwa islam au muislam kwa hivyo wakati wa kristo tunajaribu kuuita watu kwa kuja kwa kristo pia na waislamu wanajaribu kuleta watu wakuja kwa nini? Kwa islamu. Na hiyo ni changamoto kubwa sana. <coughs> Tatu ni historical. Historical ni maana yake ni kwamba since Islam began, since the beginning of Islam, their target has been to compete with Christians and Christianity and to defeat Christianity. Hiyo ndio lengo lao. Lakini we don't have to be <coughs> worried kwa sababu Yesu mwenyewe alisema katika Mathayo 16 18 Baba alisema I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail over it. Kwa hivyo si kwamba the gates of hell zasajaribu they will try but they will not prevail hasta shinda. 
Unajua mimi napenda mpira sana. I like soka uh, sana. Na si soka hii ya <coughs> Manchester ama kuna nani. Napenda soka ya hapa mtaani. Hapa Kibera ina timu yangu hapa. Inaitwa Gogo Boys. Sijui kama watu wa Gogo Boys wako area. Eh, najua kuna jamaa wa Kibera Black Stars. Ya hapo huko ndani. Na kwa hivyo napenda mpira hapa local sana. Na hata kwa TV na unaona hivyo kwa Kenya Premier League. Lakini kuna wakati unaona mpira eh, replay ilichezwa jana mnajua matokeo lakini narudiwa tena wakati narudiwa tena ni t- ile timu ilishinda jana In- kuna uwezekano ishindwe leo replay inawezekana kwa jana matokeo mnajua au kuniona kwa TV lakini sasa leo tena unaikuta inarudiwa kwa TV na unaonyesha tena kwa TV. Sasa ile timu yenye ilishinda jana inawezekana leo ishindwe. Sasa wakati tunaongea na Uislamu ama na watu wengine wote sisi kama wafuasi wa Yesu ni kama replay. Yesu mwenyewe alisema your name is Peter and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not prevail over it. Kwa hivyo ile mambo tunaona sasa hii ni kama replay. Sisi ndio jua ushindi, tayari Yesu ashapata ushindi. Eh, sasa hii ingine hata tukishambulia na namna gani? Ukiona Chelsea inashambulia sisi Man U ama nini? Kama ile timu ilishinda jana ndio ilishinda, hata leo hiyo replay itakuwa tu namna hiyo. Uwezo kuwa na roho inashika eh labda utafungwa. Hapana. Kwa hivyo, kwa hii hizi ni nyanja tatu. That's why Islam challenges Christianity. Na nataka tuanze na ya kwanza. Na zita the big five. <coughs> Tuko na theological big five. Nana anajua mambo ya big five. Mwai sikia kitu big five. Nini? Animals. Eh? Animals. Yes, so after hii natumika kwa tourism hapa Kenya. The big five. Who, do you know the big five? Yes. Ni gani na gani? Rhino. Rhino. Uh, Rhino buffalo. Elephant. Elephant. Leopard. Okay, I think I can remember the name of it. Okay, how many of you are on all the big five? Or may on all the big five, all the big five animals of Kenya. Hey, wana mtebei Kenya? Ah ah, TV hapana. In real life, nani ameona the big five? Oh, zebra is not the big five. Okay, only a few. Okay. Yeah. Ina ina inabidi tunatembea kidogo tunaona wanyama. Mimi bali naishi the big five was again naona ama nawasikia. 2 weeks ago nimekutana na one of the big five akiwa kama hapa na mimi kwa hapa. No. It, it was a lion. Yes. Na my house ilikuwa kama hapo mwisho. Unaona hapo mwisho hii mabati uh, alikuwa hapo. How did you survive? My son, mimi gari. My son, mwenye alikuwa amenifungulia gate, alikuwa kama kwa hiyo Walipitana hivi. Lakini wako wanana. Lion haikumuona na yeye hakuona lion. Eh, mimi nilimwambia ingia kwa nyumba mara moja. Eh, so hiyo ndio one of the joys of living in Africa. Eh, <laughs> we interact with these people pay a lot of money to come and see the lions. Na sasa mbona utaka kwa nyumba nakutana na nayo? <laughs> so, the big five. This big five sijachagua tu uh, randomly. There are things that divide. In fact, one of these are zingine. The big five that divide. Zenye zinatenga Ukristo na Uislamu. Wana, mimi nimesema kwa vile nyinyi Waislamu Kwa vile nyinyi Waislamu Unyidu wa kristo, minda kwa mwislamu. One of the big five ya kwanza ni Biblia. Waislamu wanadai kwamba the Biblia imepotoshwa. Kwamba Biblia ya mbao tuko na o kristo wako na esa hii. Sio neno la mungu, 100%. Na mina taka ni waulize. Zabu nyidu wa kristo. Je, ni hii Biblia ambayo mnayo, ambayo inye mnasoma. Ni neno la mungu, 100%. Yes. yes. Eh? Yes. 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 Kuna maneno ya wanadamu huko ndani? Yes. No. No. Yes. 
wa Kristo no. hii Biblia yenye mnasoma ni neno la Mungu 100% yes, yes. yes. No. It's a kuna maneno ya wanadamu huko ndani. Yes. Kuna maneno ya nyoka huko ndani. Yes. Eh? Kuna maneno ya punda huko ndani. Yes. Kuna maneno ya wendazimu huko ndani. Kuna maneno ya shetani huko ndani. Kwa hivyo mnaposema Biblia ni neno la Mungu mnajumlisha pamoja na maneno ya punda pia si ndio <laughs> mnaposema biblia neno la Mungu hata maneno ya, ya, ya nyoka pia mnakubali mna maneno ya Mungu si ndio it was just a story but the bible was inspired and written by eh mambo inspired tutakuja hata hivi tutazungukia ile kitu kama mnijibu Mnaposema Biblia ni neno la Mungu 100%. Si ndio? Yes. Do you in mnakubali mnakuba, mna, pamoja na maneno ya ya Yesu? Yes. Si ndio? Yes. yes. Maneno ya nyoka. Mm. Iko ndani. Iko ndani. Ndio nauliza hivi, mnaposema Biblia ni neno la Mungu. Tunakubali. Mnakubali pia hata maneno ya nyoka ni neno la Mungu. Yes. It was written. Eh? Si neno la Mungu, si ndio? No, it was written for man to study because it's the word of God. It's so life. Mimi bado nasema neno mengi na uliza hivi. Mnaposoma Biblia na mnasema neno la Mungu. Je, na ukuta ndani maneno ya mwendazimu. Hayo ni maneno ya Mungu. Ni maneno ya Mungu. Ni neno la Mungu, si ndio? Yes. Unaposoma Biblia na ukute maneno ya punda, punda anazungumza. Yes. Hiyo pia ni neno la Mungu, si ndio? Yes. Yes. Eh? Yes. 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 It depends with the context of yes. what you are reading. Ah ah, mimi Biblia ndio hii. Hii ni Biblia. Yes, it is. Kila kitu kwa madani ni neno la Mungu. Yes. yes. Hata shetani hapo ndani ni neno la Mungu imeandikwa. Eh, anasema hata kama shetani yuko ndani imeandikwa. Hiyo bado ni neno la Mungu. Yes. 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 Just the way we have defined Islam. If we could define Christianity then the Bible ile vile ndio kwa Biblia pia bado tungeweza kuifata kama neno la Mungu. Amen, mimi mbona swali moja. Hata si swali ngumu. Nikaoniza tu hii Biblia kuanzia Genesis mpaka Revelation yote ni neno la Mungu. Yes. Kwa hivyo tukikuta hata maneno ya nyoka ni neno la Mungu. Si ndio? Yes. Neno la Mungu. Tukikuta maneno ya punda ni neno la Mungu. Yes. Tukikuta maneno ya shetani ndio? Yeah. Yes. Na ndio maneno ya Mungu. Yes. Okay, have a sample of all those things that are in the Bible that creation. That what? Creation. Eh. Yes. Eh. Mungu aliumba. Eh. Oh. Kwa hivyo yote ukikuta hapa ndani ni neno la Mungu. Second question. Ukikuta mtu anaandika Biblia. Na huyo mtu aseme hii maneno naandika ndugu zangu ni si Mungu aliniambia. Hii mm. mimi mwenyewe nimeamua tu niweke. Hiyo <laughs> bali itakuwa neno la Mungu. Amen. Eh? Yes. Na Kristo. Mtu ameandika Biblia na yeye mwenyewe akasema hii maneno nimeandika tafadhali hisi ya Mungu si Mungu aliniambia niandike. Mimi mwenyewe nimeona tu niweke. Nakaongeza kwa sababu niko na roho. Yeah yeah. Ungatie tu pale. Ungatie kwa sababu niko na roho. Huyo huyo mwenye anazungumzia hajasema yuko na roho. Ah ah soma nzuri. Eh? Soma mbele yake. Mbele yake. Wapi hapo? Hapo sema. Najua hivi mnatetea Paulo. Mimi nasema kwa Paulo. Niko niko kwa mwandishi wa wa injili. Kitabu cha injili. Nazungumzia Luka. Luka mtakatifu. Luka anasema na nataka nisome. Anasema hii maneno mimi nimeandika. Mungu wako niambia niandike. 
na hata simunga niambia maneno yenyewe nilijitafutia nili mduka mlango wa kwanza <laughs> Luka mlango ya kwanza kuanzia tu verse 1 inasema hivi <coughs> Inasema hivi that many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have been fulfilled among us just as they were handed down to us by those who from the first were eyewitnesses and servants of the word therefore since i myself have carefully investigated everything from the beginning it seemed good also to me to, to write an orderly account for you most excellent excellent pupils so that you may know the certainty of the things you have been taught Many have undertaken to draw up an account of the things that have been fulfilled among us, just as they were handed down to us by those who from the first were eyewitnesses. And them by those who are eyewitnesses. Look at Manyan, look at eyewitness. He was writing under guidance. I uh, get it, and as yeah. yeah. then it continues. Yeah. Therefore, since I myself have carefully investigated, yeah. I'm a fan of research. I can do that. You know, people are not going to yeah. research. Mm. Uh, research, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be wana peana packet za maji purifier lakini mimi sijui so ndachukua kalamu na karatasi niende kwa kutembea kidara eh bari ndio eh unajua hapo ni kwa packet ministry sio unajua hapa waji you know somebody mwenye anaweza kuwajua hapa karibu eh eh najua oh nani no no oh ngule kadini <laughs> so luka hiyo ilikuwa kazi yake anaenda kana anasema bwana kuna mtu anaitwa Yesu kuna siku alikuja huko mm-hmm. watu wa kana wasema eh okay. okay. alikuwa hapa eh nasikia alibadilisha maji ikakuwa white is that true wewe well, unasikia maneno Uliona? Ulisikia? Unajua mwenye aliona hiyo maji kakuwa waini. Maji ya mtungi hicho ilikuwa mtungi akakuwa waini. Leo nani? Ogule ngapo. So, Luka akafanya research. Akagundua, oh, hii maneno akafanya hiyo neno la Mungu. Eh? Mtu anachunguza chunguza tu anasema hiyo neno imekuwa neno la Mungu. After proving that it is true, he is reporting what was done that was of God and he is reporting what he has researched and found that it is true. So it is that's oh very good. Amefanya research akapata ni kweli. Mimi sasa hii nikifanya research yangu mzuri. Kwa sababu sasa hii tunaweza kufanya research ile nzuri kabisa tuna computers, tuna nini, kuna internet, naenda Wikipedia au sijui niende wiki site naweza kufanya research nichunguze mambo ya Yesu mzuri na niandike si ndio mm-hmm. itakuwa neno la Mungu yeah. of course 
kama inaendana na Biblia vile imeandikwa it becomes the word of God. But Biblia unajua iendani. Kuna mambo ambayo inapingana. Lakini sina time ya kwenda nitaenda tu kwa tafiki yako. Lakini jambo ambalo mimi nataja sasa hivi kwamba kulingana na Uislamu wanasema Biblia is corrupted. Biblia leo si ile jinsi Mungu alivyoifunua imepotoshwa. Mm. <coughs> Staki kwenda sana uko ndani kabisa lakini ukisoma sura uh, Yunus sura ya kumi aya uh, 94 actually Qur'an inaambia waislamu kwamba wakisoma Qur'an yao na wasielewe mambo mengine waende waulize watu wa kitabu. Yes. Watu wa kitabu ahala al kitabu ni wakina nyinyi. Lakini najua na Wakristo pia nao juu kitabu chao. <coughs> kabisa <laughs> Kwa sababu huyo jamaa alikuwa anakuja akakuja kwa nyumba anavuja biscuit kadogo akiingia kwa nyumba anapatia mtoto mtoto anakula alafu anajaribu kumpatia ukubwa mtoto akitaka ananyang'anya mtoto anaanza kulia sasa itabidi paka mama badunue sawa so, kimeona kwa namfukuza sasa lengo langu hapa nawaonyesha na eh because tukianza kujifunza yetu hii ni vitu tunafunzanga ta mzima ili tu ili kufukuze trinity wa kristo na tafadhali nikiongea kitu ambacho si sahihi kuhusu kristo please correct me kwa uzuri kwa upendo si ni watu wa upendo mimi vile najua wa kristo wanaamini kwamba mungu ni mmoja lakini anaonekana kama watatu kweli mm. e, Mungu ni mmoja but he looks like three not not looks like hey. but uh, we are I, I know that word uh, you have written the word the trinity i know it's not in the bible but when we read the bible we find god in three dimensions okay so yes. And I have I'm trying to explain what yes. I understand by Trinity. Yes. According to Christians, Christians believe that God is one that he looks like three. Yeah. Or God is or there are three gods that look like one. Yeah. So which is which is which is the, which is which? Is God one yeah. looking like three? Yes. <laughs> Or are they three looking like one? God is one. God is one. God is one but manifest himself in three parts. Oh God is one but manifest himself, himself in three parts. Yes. Pass. In three parts. Eh? You want to say the same? And you? I think the good example is me. Eh. Me am one. Eh. God is one. Who compose of body soul and spirit. Yes. Very good. Is it possible for you since you are one for your soul to be here and the body to be in Halinga? Yes. <laughs> is it possible? <laughs> you can, you can, your mind is somewhere. Huh? Yes. I think God is three, but because of his supernatural uh, uh, body, we cannot know when it is one and when it is three, but it's three. Oh, but God is three. Mungu ni watatu, si ndio? No, no. I think I agree with this guy. Mungu ni watatu, lakini za zingine he looks like one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Afikiri. Okay. So let me wacha tumalize maneno. I don't want to spend a lot of time on today. Tumalize maneno. The people that formed the Trinity, who are they? Jesus, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes, just, just as every Christian says, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Are these three the same? No. Yes. Eh? No. Yes. So if you see the Father, 
Is the son also there? Yes. yes. Of course. The son is the son, the father is the father, the spirit is the spirit. So if you see the father, the son is also there, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Now, among these three, who is the boss? God. The father. The father. father. God the father from Cuba, see you? Yes. <laughs> followed by who? Nani is your... <laughs> the second in command in the Nani. Jesus. 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 <laughs> when we are chini? I know what this to Munangana name and then over the Gadi Mrajo, Makati Munaumba, Munaumba Nani Mungu Baba, Nataka Namanei, Nataka Namanei, Naima Neno, at the Yesu Kodan. Sindio, that's how you finish your prayers. Yes, somebody is there, it is under there. Yes, Mkuba, they are people. Mungu Baba. Na mungu uh, roho, I agree, but mungu baba na mungu roho, wanatashena kwa, kwa, kwa uwezo? Yes, yes, they are equal. They are equal. They are equal. Yes, they are equal. Okay. Uli ambaye mnadai alisulubiwa alikuwa nani? Yes. Mungu. Sam. Sam. Yule mungu mwenye alisulubiwa alikuwa nani? Sam. Jesus. What I'm saying. 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 And we have the Holy Spirit. Yes. The Holy Spirit is and the one that flies. <laughs> <laughs> and these people, they are one. Oh, these people are one. They operate. They are one. Eh? Because, they are one. Because Jesus said, if you see me, you can see the, the Father. Oh. So, they are one. Which means there is a difference between the Father and the Son. No. So, <laughs> uh, okay, it's very simple. In my words, Swali. Kuna moja mnadai alisulubishwa msalabani. Yeah. Nasema mnadai kwa sababu Qur'an inakataa. Yes. Hata Biblia inakataa. Hakuna mtu alisulubishwa. Yeah. Lakini wa Kristo mnadai kuna mmoja wa mmoja mmoja wa Mungu tatu. Mmoja alisulubishwa msalabani. Yes. Walipo wewe alisulubishwa mne nani ni Yesu? Ni Yesu. Baba naye alisulubishwa? Ah. Alikuwa mali pengine sio? Na na roho. Roho alikuja baadaye. Kwa hivyo Okay, to finish him and end of it, it's okay, Bele. See, it's come to Islam, to amin the man by Trinity. To na amin, Tawheed. Tawheed, ni kwamba mungu ni moja. Na, awezu kuwa watatu, awezu kuwa wili, awezu kuwa absolutely one. Na, 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 na. And in fact, kumba yu, kuna wa Islam hapa nda igiza padini. Tuna poenda kwenye swala. Na zama wa yamu yu lead, wa yamu yu lad. Kwa mba haku umu, haku umu, haku za, wala haku zaniwa. Kinu kwa kristo, kuna mungu, hale zaniwa. Sasa mina shangato wa kristo, ukipata mtu amebeba mungu, mama ameza mungu. Uyo mama na eni nani? But ngombe, awezi kuza mbuzi. Kwa hivyo ukipata ndama wa ngombe ujue ukiona ndama ujue mama yaki pendi ngo Kwa hivyo wezi kuzaa mungu na mwenye siyo mungu Sisi wa kristo, sisi wa islamu Atu kubali mamba ya Kwa hivyo mungu ni mmoja Atafadhali na atapena niendele Nimesema hata atufundishi leo Leo tunangelea changa moto tu Mafundishi utapanga na wakubwa waka hapa Ndiyo mtaneleza bzuri. Msalaba. Cruciction.
Wakristo wanaamini kwamba kwa Mungu wa tatu mmoja wao alisulubiwa, si ndio? Alikuwa nani? Yes. Eh? Jesus Christ. Yes. Yesu alisulubiwa. Unaposoma katika Korani, Korani inakataa. Katika sura ya 4, sura ya 4, sura ya 4 mstari wa 157 kwenda mpaka 58. Nasema makatalu huu wa masala huu ina shabihi la huu kwamba hawakumsulubu wala kumuua lakini walifanendishiwa mtu mwingine lakini Yesu mwenyewe hawakumuua na hata Biblia yenyewe inakataa kwamba Yesu hakusulubiwa mara nyingi sehemu nyingi katika Biblia Biblia inakataa Yesu hakusulubiwa Which verse? Yes. Chapter. Chapter. Yes. Ndapatia si verse moja. Nina nina karibu 20 lakini ndapatia mbili. Yenye na mbili yenye nakataa 100%. Yesu hajasulubiwa msalabani. Marko. Marko 15. Verse 25. Na ningependa nyinyi musome kwa Biblia zenu. Kwa sababu nikisoma kwa yangu mtasema labda nimeigeuza ama nimeweka. Nataka musome kwa Biblia yenu. Eh. Marko 15 mstari wa 25. Biblia inakataa Yesu hajasulubiwa msalabani. Ah, tuseme kwa utaratibu. Madam, tuanze na wewe. Ah, eh, kwa Kristo Najua iki mambo yanaguza Yesu wa Kristo huwa na wanachangamka sana. Eh. Eh. Sasa sikiza tutaka tusome hapa na kuna mwingine amekuwa anakisoma hapo nyuma. Waje tuanze na hii kwanza. Soma kwa sababu ama simama madam. Usome kwa sauti wa Kristo wasikie. Marko 15:25. Ndina sema it was 9 o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. Thank you. Very good. Sasa huyo when they crucified him, huko nadhani ni nani? Yes. Ah, ah nauliza tu. <laughs> okay, read read up. Yes, we from 22. Eh, tafadhali wa Kristo tusikize. Mimi bila Biblia nasema ndio nitafuata. Hata kama nikuokoka mimi naokoka hapa leo na kabisa. Okay madam. Ah, bili ah. Converse 22. Turudia tena kwa kibasi kuna kama. 22. 15 22. The Bible says and they brought Jesus to a place called Golgotha. Uh-huh. Which means place of the skull. Uh-huh. And they offered him wine drugged with mar but he refused it. Mm. Then the soldiers nailed him on the cross. Mm. They divided his clothes mm. and and threw dice mm. and de- decided who would get each piece. Mm. It was nine o'clock in the morning yeah. when they crucified him. Yeah. Very good. It was nine o'clock when they crucified him. Yeah. Right? Nataka wewe tu kwa hiyo bibi yako alafu tenda kwa wengine tena usome Yohana 19:14 utujue kati ya wawili nana anasema ukweli nana anasema uongo 19:14 yes Yohana John chapter 19 verse 14 yote naongea kuhusu huyu Yesu ambaye mnadai alisulubiwa lakini tunajua ni uongo hakusulubiwa <laughs> ah please please Yohana 19:14 inasema hivi eh It was now about noon on the day of preparation for the Passover eh. and Pilate said to the people look here is your king continue Away with him they yell away with him crucify him Now what time was that <laughs> The Bible says it was about noon on the day the sixth hour of preparation for so, the Passover Okay yes. So on that day at, at noon was Jesus was on the cross Okay it's about noon Was Jesus on the cross about noon Not yet. A place called Golgotha. Was he even in Golgotha? Not yet. Eh? Not yet. At about noon, was Jesus on the cross? 
Wa Kristo msiogope kusema semeni tu. No. At about noon was Jesus on the cross. No. Was he even in Golgotha? No. no. He was in Pilate's office and Pilate was arguing with the Jews. Should I crucify him or say yeah, crucify him? But 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 so when we read verse um, verse 16 of the same, it yeah. says then Pilate turned Jesus over to them to be crucified. Yes, here yeah, now is what I'm saying. Yeah. At no, around noon. Around noon come as angry. Sasita 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 Around eleven thirty. Yes. Maybe ten minutes to noon. Yes, I'll come Salaban. No. Eh? No. Sasa, you know when you mark a Leona Sata to come Salaba, I'll go and Please, uh, do Your question? My point, what is your point? My point is, <laughs> You want to know when he was crucified and who was crucified? Two things. I want to know, number one, was Jesus crucified? Yes. According, according to the Bible, yes. it is saying Where? Because if there was only one Jesus, Nigeria kwa Israeli, in Kukwa na Yesu wingi. Sasa labda, Nigeria na maadi wa watu walisulibiwa wa kukulukotha, Yesu wako wa kwanza kusulipio huko, huko wata wako wanga na sulipio huko. Ujoka thabi likuwa nito the place of the sky. Wata wako wanga na sulipio huko. Katika Israeli, Yesu nwengi, si mmoja, munajua kuna Baf Jesus, kuna Baf Nani. Hata wakati wa sikari, walikuja kushika Yesu. Na wengaji ni mambi ya kudania, tusi ukwidi. Lakini wakati walikuja. Yesu wakakuja, wakauliza, Munataka nani? Asikara kwa mambia, Munataka Yesu wa Nazareti. Labu neza kwa Yesu, Yuko, Yesu, Wapa kutidero, Saida, Yesu. Jina Yesu ni, Yesu ni, Kwa kibrania ni Joshua, Oma Yeshua. Wata wata Joshua ni wengi. Kwa hiko paka, Muta kuja hapa Kenya, Sema na tafta Peter. Peter Nwini, Paku, you specify which Peter? Peter Kenneth. Yeah, Peter Kenneth, Peter Kenneth. So, as Karo and Pokuja kwa Yesu, and said, Mataka, Yesu, Kuzo, Mataka, Nani? Kuzo, Mataka, Yesu, Wanazariti. Si Yesu mungine, Yesu, Kuzo, Mani, Mini? Kuzo, Mani, Mani. Wako, Amini, Paka wakati, Judas, and Poenda, Kapanya, Nini? Kampus. Lakini, Yesu, Kuzo, Mani, 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 alikuwa ni mtu anapenda kujibadilisha sura. Hmm? Yesu, ni hii ni kulingana na Biblia. Alikuwa mtu ambaye alikuwa anapenda kujibadilisha sura. Unaweza kukutana naye kwa barabara hapa, yeye ni mnubi. Mkikutane huko makina, alikuwa mwingi. <laughs> na hii maneno yuko kwa Biblia. Ni single to so, Jesus. Kuna so, identify Wa Kristo. Amjasoma kwenye Biblia Yesu akijibadilisha sura. Wa right, wa right. Wa na wauliza. Katika hii Biblia yenu, amjasoma mahali Yesu amejibadilisha sura. alikuwa na alikuwa anafanya miujiza mingi. Hata kwenye Quran si tunamkubali Yesu alikuwa anafanya miujiza mingi. Baada ya miujiza ilikuanza kujibadilisha sura. Anaweza kwenda kwa mlima Ukiendo kuju, kuna mebadilika su? Amebadilika sura. Kwa hivyo askaru walipokuja kumushika Yesu, Yesu kajibadilisha sura. Wakashika mtu mgini. Lakini, nina ushaidi mingi katika mbibia, nimebadia moja mgini jini. Kama Marko, sa tatu, aliona Yesu musalabani. Sidiyo? Sia kizulibiwa, akiwa musalabani taaru. Which means hata labda kizulibiwa sandini. Sidiyo? Na saa sita, kuna Yesu mungine na Pilato, na wayahudi wanaongea kwa kisa Pilato. 
Nyinyi kama wakristo mnafata hizo gani? Ule wa saa 3 ama wa saa 6? Mapito. Hapo ndio kujauliza. Kama na ujaliza. Tukubaliane tunazungumzia Yesu gani? Wa saa 3 ama wa saa 6? Mnafata wa saa 6. Pande hii ni Yesu wa saa sita na pande hii ni Yesu wa saa ngapi? Ah kabla hujauliza swali nataka tuweke some basic slide. Unafuata Yesu wa saa ngapi? Unafuata Yesu wa Yesu. Lakini wawili kuna moja alichukua saa tatu. Hakuna hapa kuna evidence. Hakuna evidence inaonyesha kuna mwingine alisulubisha saa mbili. Hakuna. Ah sijasema saa mbili nimesema Marko anasema aliona Yesu msalabani sanga. Hapo ana kusulubiwa. Aliona Yesu tayari akiwa nini? Msalabani. Ndio nikasema labda kwa sababu ilikuwa saa tatu. Labda wakati Marko alikuja unjia Marko alikuwa na Yesu. Yes. Kwa hiyo wakati mambo ilikuwa mbaya akakimbia. Sitaki kusema bila alikimbia. Eh sasa aliporudi baada ya kusikia mambo imetulia kidogo akaanza <laughs> Lakini lakini Yohana Yohana ambaye yeye alitembea na Yesu kama mnafanya na maandiko Yesu aliposhikwa alipelekwa mara aliposhikwa kutoka Getsemane alipelekwa wapi mara ya kwanza Na kuona kama mnajua maandiko ama mna mnabishana Aliposhikwa Alipelekwa wapi Kwa nani Yesu aliposhikwa first point alipelekwa wapi Okay na na mjui Yesu aliposhikwa baba point is pellet alipelekwa asubuhi Yesu aliposhikwa mara ya kwanza alipelekwa kaiafa Siku ya Herode Herode Pilato dalisema Yesu apelekwa kwa 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 Herode lakini Yesu aliposhikwa alipelekwa kwa Caiaphas. Ambaye alikuwa ka ito la gani? Chief priest. Kwa Kiswahili ni Gibna yeye. Kwa eh kwa hani mkuu. Alipelekwa kwa hani mkuu. Kwa hani mkuu akamhoji akasema wewe ndio ulisema tutavunja hekalu na ujenge na nini? Na siku moja. Yesu ananyamaza. Lakini unajua sisi waislamu tunajua kwa Yesu alikuwa amefika mtu kwa ameshika mtu mwingine. Ndio kwa sababu hiyo mtu alinyamaza. Kwa sababu anasikia maneno. Anasema hivi maneno mengi. Ndani ya kwa mungu hekalu. Akanyamaza mtu kwa mtu aliambiwa alikwambia wewe unisema utamunge hekalu na ujenge na siku na siku tatu huyo kuna tayari shangaa hadi hekalu hadi hekalu hata wacha hekalu nyumba hata kama hii uoneza kuivunja wewe peke yako ukwambie upomoe nyumba wewe peke yako mtaibu mata na siku tatu ama hii kanisa baada ya wao ndio gani nataka kujua baada ya wao kulingana na maandiko sio saa tatu eh baada ya wao ni gani hiyo umetoa umetoa sadia wapi Mark says, Mark says, says this. Yeah. Now it was the third hour and they crucified him. It was the, the third hour is it? Okay, this is the Jim. What this under the Jim? And now Lisa. And now Lisa. The third hour is angapi? From Sasita. Third hour is angapi? Sasita to Sakisa. Baada ya hapo siku la Sakisa. Ah, oh Cristo. Huyu anauliza kwamba third hour ni saa ngapi? Saa 9. Jioni. So kwa kulingana na Wakristo third hour ni saa 9, si ndio? Yes. Okay. 
hata simi na kujibu bana watu wangu wenyewe wameshindwa wetu kuna umbi lakini kumbuka wa Kristo kumbukeni nilianza kwa kusema hii biblia yetu imepotoshwa mnakumbuka haya ndio baadhi ya maneno inafanya wa Kristo na changaikiwa hii biblia imepotoshwa kila mtu kila mtu ameandika mambo yake ndani sasa wa Kristo kaanza kusoma hawezi jua ukweli ni gani na ukora ni gani <laughs> sasa mnaposema third hour Waki, wengine wanasema ni saa tisa si ndio na in theology kuna principle ambayo inasema the bible interprets the bible or scripture interprets scripture what it means ni kwamba ukisoma maandiko mahali uelewe vizuri unalinganisha hayo maandiko na mengine yenye yes. unaelewa then unaona oh yeah. that's what is meant yeah. so sasa tunataka kujua third hour ni jioni ama ni asubuhi sasa According to principles of 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 studying Bible, eh. scripture and the scripture. Yes. So even the answer is in John chapter 19 verse 14. What's the answer? John chapter 19 verse 14. Eh. It is the last one. It says it was now about noon. So that one hour in noon. Sa sita. So that hour in noon, isn't it? Na hiyo noon Yesu alikuwa hajawahi kwa msalabani. Ile third hour ya Marko, Marko anasema Jesus had been crucified. E, lakini hii ya, 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 ya nini ya Yohana, Yesu bado yuko kwa ofisi ya Pilato. Sasa nikawauliza swali raisi. Nini kama wa Kristo huwa mnafuata Yesu gani? Ule wa saa 3 ama wa saa sita? Kwa hivyo kesi ya crucifixion Tunaimalizia tu hapo kwamba Yesu haja hajasulikiwa msalabani. Can I ask a question? Yes. Do you believe that Bible is corrupted? The Bible? Yeah, it's corrupted. Sisi kama Waislamu tunaamini Biblia ni corrupted. Are you an Islam? Uh, Islam? Yes. Bana <laughs> mimi nimesema Waislamu wanaamini Biblia is corrupted. Na ushahidi moja ndio huyu muona. Na nina mingi, naja time ndio tuna. Wakati tufanye training, ndio tu ushahidi hata karibu mtu hawezi kuwa mkristo kabla hajaamini Yesu amekufa msalabani huwezi kuwa mkristo kabla hujaamini that Jesus died on the cross was buried and he rose and, rose and, and, and he's gone and he's in heaven what is your example na mimi Jesus is in heaven ukisoma hii I like that 158 tunaamini Yesu alienda mbinguni lakini hakufa Mungu alimchukua akiwa hai kampeleka kukata hii lakini nyinyi wa Kristo mnaamini Yesu alifanya nini alikufa alikufa ingawa Biblia inakataa kama ambavyo tumeona na na hata hata tukichunguza hii mambo ya Yesu kufa msalabani katika kulingana na Biblia wanasema kabla Yesu ayeko msalabani walimnyang'anya nguo zake wakapiga kura wakagawana hizo nguo si ndio alipozikwa alifungwa kwa manguo weka kwenye kapoli si ndio alipofufuka 
alifufuka na hizo nguo zilikuwa alikuwa anaanza kwa kaburi wa kristo hizo hizo wakati yesu wakati yesu alifufuka hizo nguo zenye alizikwa alikuwa anaanza kwa kaburi alitoka nazo huko ndani zilibaki pale wakati yesu alikuwa anakufa alikuwa bado katika lakini akifufuka alifufuka kama mungu kwa hivyo nguo haijalishi hapo asi ale mimi sijasema ngoni mbona tuswali alikofufuka kama vile wakristo wanadai zile nguo aliweka nazo kaburini alitoka nazo huko zilibaki huko zilibaki huko Yesu alikofufuka ama kama vile mnadai kwamba alikufufuka alikuwa na nguo Yes. Eh? Yes. Na uliza hivi. Yesu kama ambavyo mnadai alifufuka. Watu walimuona. Walimuona akiwa na nguo. Yes. Alikuwa amevaa nguo. Yes. Hizo nguo alitoa wapi? He's God. Kwa sababu alikuwa ajaenda kwa Mungu Baba. Labda Mungu Baba angepatia. Sasa hizo zenye alifufuka kwa amevaa alitoa wapi? Hallelujah. Okay, what are you doing? Supernatural. Supernatural. Okay, it's enough, it's enough. Najwe hii maneno, hii maneno ya mchungaji awaambi. Atazani. Sadi kama wataniita matendo. Ah ah. Mchungaji. We need you. Hii maneno ya mchungaji wangu. We need you. Lakini ngoje niwaambie pale alitoa hizo nguo. Yes. Wakati kufa alikufa. Akufa. Ile kitu ilifanyika. Yesu Wacha nielezee ukweli mambo ile. Unatuelezea kulingana na Kiislamu ama sasa Kikristo. Kibiblia. Ile Biblia inasema. Biblia yenu. Ile Biblia yenu inasema. Biblia inasema. Kama Biblia yetu inasema in our own perspective ama Biblia inasema Yesu amekufa msalabani. Imekataa. Hata nyinyi. Inasema hapa peke yake Biblia inasema E, mtu ambaye ameweka msalabani amelaaniwa amelaaniwa yes yeso lilaaniwa yeah anaaniwa kwa ona wa behalf mimi ndio ndio nasema ukikuta mtu ameweka kwa msalaba amelaaniwa huyo mtu ambaye ni amelaaniwa yeso aliweka kwa msalaba amelaaniwa alibeba yetu wapi imesema alichukua la nini galatia ngapi Haya Biblia yenyewe inasema kwamba baba hawezi kufa kwa dhambi za mwana na mwana hawezi kufa kwa dhambi za baba Nyinyi wa Kristo nani aliwaambia kwamba Yesu ndiye anakufa kwa dhambi zenu But the same Bible says dhambi ya kwanza ni dhambi ndio nasema nani aliwaambia kwamba Yesu atakufa kwa dhambi zenu? Ndio ngapi? Inasemaje? Mashallah. Alhamdulillah. Hebu niulize swali. Nani alisema hayo maneno? Who said those words? Jesus. Eh? Who said those words? Yes, it was Jesus who said those words. Walikuwa wanaongea na Nicodemus. Akaambia Nicodemus kwamba kwa maana jinsi hii Mungu aliupenda ulimwengu akamtuma mwanawe si akanituma mimi Yesu mwanawe <laughs> akamtuma mwanawe ili yeyote amwamini asipotee bali apate uzima wa milele 